Right, welcome to Chris Parking Shooting Sports. You probably saw a quick jump cut on that when I started unboxing this double gun event. So this is the second gun of the two. I've just done the little unboxing video on the CZ457 MDT. This is the At One version. Now, I shot one of these in Czech Republic when I went out to the launch of the new CZ600 uh, just over a year ago. And I have shot one of these and I rather liked it, but I haven't seen them here until now, and this is it. So, what have we got? 457 bolts in there. Please look at my videos, look at my channel, because there are a lot of CZ457 videos. There's a huge amount of information to glean about this range of rifles. Essentially, they all run on the same mechanical action. So that is that, and I'll probably do a little bit of a review of the back-to-back -back or side-by-side -side of three of them while I've got three together at the same time. But that is the bolt there, and we've got a steel knob there. I've just done the unboxing of the MDT, and as well, the LRP also have a larger sort of gold ball size rubber knob on that, which is also very fast in use, but that one doesn't have it on. I'm sure it can be added if you want to. And here we go. There's a warranty certificate, there's also an instruction manual. I'll just put those to one side for the moment. There will be a full review appearing on this rifle in a few weeks time as and when time allows and the weather allows we are here now in december uh, a few days till christmas now so i do like these unboxings you get to catch my initial reaction initial feelings because i don't research these things i have seen and shot some of them but i don't necessarily do any kind of direct research on them so here we go this is the at one so this is the laminate version it's got the same 457 action, same 457 trigger, which is beautifully crisp with a single stage and a safety catch on the right there. See this? Uh, this one has regular dovetail rails. This doesn't have a picketing rail fitted, but you could put a picketing rail on it if you wanted. It's got a heavy barrel to get. That looks like half inch UNC thread, so you can add a moderator or brake. But you know, if you're going to get a moderator or a brake, you just ask for the one you need the right size for. Pop that to one side. When I shot this, I shot it off a bench with a bipod. I didn't actually use it for very long. I was in Czech Republic on a range with loads of people. So this has got a steel magazine in it, but that's conventional CZ style. You can use five or tens, the polymer or the steel. They're all interchangeable, no problems at all. There's a sling stud at the front, so you can put the bipod on there if you want. The barrel is floating and it's stiff in there. So you've no problems with intermittent contact when you change the position. Now, most interestingly, it has got a more quickly adjustable cheek piece at the back end. So if we got on the ceiling camera there, that is a quick release sling anchor. And that will go, yep, yeah, that'll go either side. So we've got studs for that either side. I'll just pop that to one side. So let's just see how this works. If I press that down, oh, very nice. That lifts up. It's not windage adjustable, but it has got quite a nice slim profile. So it'll fit under your cheekbone without displacing your jaw excessively. I'll pop this back in. Let's hope I haven't upset any spring mechanisms in here. There you go, that goes back in there. So that's got detented intermediate positions. That's all got like a sort of a soft touch rubberized finish as well. So it's, yeah, that's rather comfortable. I like that. Now, length of pull initially there, it does feel quite short. I don't have a measurement off the top of my head. I will do that in the full review. There is also a sling stud on the back there. But more interestingly, if I press that button there similarly, we should have an adjustable length of pull, which we have. It's a little bit stiff. As you see, this is a brand, brand new rifle straight out of the box. But that is the adjustable length of pull there. I'll be investigating this more to see exactly what moves where, what we can do with, with other things and whether that's move, that's rotational or not. I don't think that is rotational, but it has got length of pull adjustment on it. I'm just going to pop this up here, pop that there, because I'll probably be shooting this prone with a bipod. And that, yeah, that feels a lot better now with a longer length of pull. I seem to remember when I had the pictures of this when I was using it in Czech Republic, that was extended, so it's kind of the normal conventional length of pull. But I will measure this because it is adjustable to suit your needs. There is a sort of secondary effect there, that's like a bag rider or a ramp to put your supporting hand under for fine elevation control. Again, there will be a full review of this because I do love shooting room fires these days. And the CZs with the triggers, they're just lovely rifles to shoot and I'm very confident in them. I'm gonna put that back in there so I don't lose it. 
and that will give you various carry options. I'll be shooting this with, I'll see what scopes I've got, put a bipod on it, that's probably what I'm going to do, but I'll probably push this out some longer distances. It is a heavy barrel, you know, we used to, in the old days, we'd probably call this a CZ457 Varmint, but now, you know, everybody likes a few three letter acronyms or two letter acronyms or two word names, and this is the AT1. I do like the looks of it. I remember when I first shot it, I kind of thought, is that the one I wish I bought? Now, I do still own an LRP, which I like a lot. So I'll put the three of them side by side. And we shall see how we get on over the next few weeks. So, if you want to see more, please like, subscribe, comment. Your comments drive me to make reviews for you. It's what gives me the inspiration to talk back to you guys. So, don't forget, when you subscribe, click the notification bell so you can see my weekly uploads. And please, if you go to the end of the video, there's a link for a ticket to the British Shooting Show for next year. And 2023 tickets, tickets also include car parking. So if you want to buy tickets, whichever day you fancy, I'll be there all three days, probably on the Sportsman Gun Centre stand. So give me a shout, contact me through them, contact me through YouTube, and we'll probably meet up and you'll be able to uh, ask me what I think about what's on the stand there. But until then, enjoy Christmas, have a happy new year. Uh, thank you for watching throughout 2022 and um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye for now.